Look forward to that. Thank you, Paul. Of course, uh, back to school time again in the city. These days, though, more and more families are choosing private or charter schools. We're going to look at that trend and the costs involved in making that choice next. Also on the evening news, your rights when it comes to watching the news hour on Global Calgary. The back-to-school exodus is about to begin, and increasing numbers of parents are opting to send their kids to schools outside the regular system. There are two options, specialized charter schools, which are free, if you can get in, and private schools that charge tuition, again, if you can get in. As Heather Urex reports, enrollment in both is booming despite long waiting lists and rising fees. A few more afternoons of freedom, and then for Allison Elliott, it's back to class. You must be insane! But Allison won't be attending her neighborhood school this year. Instead, she's off to the Calgary Girls School. I find that the charter school system is just so much more personable. My first experience w just walking into the school, um, the very first time, was just, I was just in awe. The Elliots are not alone. This is our Bel Air campus. With the same fees as public schools, charter schools have become so popular they're bursting at the seams. The Calgary Girls School has had to open a second campus. And even with six campuses across the city, Foundations for the Future has a waiting list 6,500 names strong. As soon as you get out of the hospital after having given birth, you should come and register. Um, that's where we take our new children in kindergarten. So the sooner you can get on that waiting list, the better. Pricey private schools are also seeing a spike in demand. <laughs> Families at Weber Academy pay up to $12,000 a year. And in booming Calgary, enrollment is on the rise. We do have a significant number of expatriates uh, coming to Calgary for the oil and gas industry. Particularly this past summer, we've seen a lot of uh, children come into the school from that particular sector. The Weber Academy may not be at capacity yet, but 40 to 45 percent of applicants are turned away each year. Small class sizes and a curriculum that includes subjects like Mandarin and Spanish have the city's affluent clamoring for a spot. Having gone the private route, it'd be really hard to go public school. I think I've gotten really used to the fact that he you know, has, you know, I think specialized learning here. No, it was 110. Thanks. The Elliots agree. Grace says she wants the best for Allison's education and whether the sacrifice is a longer commute, years on a wait list or a hefty bill. She says in the end, it's worth it. If it's really important to you, you will do that. You will go to the, ex go to the extra mile in order to get that. For Global News, this is Heather Yorex reporting. Heather rattled off a couple of numbers. Uh, here's another look at what a year of private school will set you back. Weber Academy charging $8,000 a year for the lower grades, $12,000 for high school students. Tuition at Strathcona Tweedsmuir in Okotoks costing between eleven dollars and $14,000. And a year at West Island College costs just over $9,600. Consumers can start answering.